Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up TypeScript in Visual Studio Code on Windows operating system by following its official documentation. So let's get started. Make sure that you already have installed Visual Studio Code on your system. If you don't have installed it on your system, I am going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code on your system from Microsoft Store, search for Visual Studio Code, select and click on this install button. It may take a while for installing Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code installed successfully. Now verify the installation. Search for Visual Studio Code and open it. Now make sure that you already have installed Node.js on your system. So open command prompt and write this command to check whether Node.js installed or not on your system. That's it. And also npm. That's it. Visual Studio Code includes TypeScript language support but does not include the TypeScript compiler TSC. You will need to install the TypeScript compiler either globally or in your workspace to transfile TypeScript source code to JavaScript. The easiest way to install TypeScript in throw npm, the node.js package manager. Type this command here and hit enter. It may take a while for installing. Okay. Now test the installation by checking the version. Now I am going to set the path environment variable for TSC. So copy this path and open edit the system environment variables. Select path and then click on edit. Then click on new and paste here. I am going to set the path for the current user. Okay. Now exit command prompt and reopen and write this command here. That's it. Now I am going to create a new folder on my desktop to store the TypeScript source code to name this folder and open this folder with Visual Studio Code. Trust the authors and I am going to create a new file name hello world dot ps ps for typescript okay and add the following typescript code now i'm going to compile and run this code now i'm going to run now i'm going to compile this code open integrated terminal in command prompt now type this command tsc hello world this command 
will compile this code and convert it to the javascript code and store in another file name hellworld.js now you will be able to run this code using node.js so write this command node hello world dot js hit enter here you will see the output on the typescript compilers default behavior to compile your typescript source code you can modify the typescript compiler options by adding ts config json file that defines the typescript project settings such as the compiler options and the files that should be included so create tsconfig.json file inside the folder configure by default typescript includes all .ts files in the current folder and subfolders if the files attribute is not included so we don't need to list hellworld.ts explicitly change the build output add here delete hellworld.js file and run again using the tsc with no options now write tsc hit enter that's it here you will see another folder name out has been created and the hello world.js is stored into this folder that's it now i'm going to debug typescript source code bs code has built-in support for typescript debugging you can create source maps during the build by setting source map true in your tsconfig.json file let's debug typescript visual studio code has built-in support for typescript debugging to support debugging typescript in combination with the executing javascript code vs code relies on source maps for the debugger to map between the original typescript source code and the running javascript so you can create source maps during the build by setting source map true in your tsconfig.json file so copy this open tsconfig.json file add here now rebuild by running tsc you should now have hellworld.js.map file inside out folder now i am going to debug the hellworld.ts file open hellworld.ts file and press f5 and you will see the output in debug console hello world that means there has no error in hello world.ts file now select a breakpoint and then click on the run and debug button now click on the step into i am going to add an expression in watch section to see the value of the message now press f11 from keyboard or click on this step into button 
here you will see the message i am going to modify this message hit enter and here you will see the value of the message now open debug console press f11 and here you will see the modified message in debug console that's it if you are a new to this channel subscribe the channel and like comment share thank you so much for watching this tutorial